Hello again, Henry Longard with more E-Race stuff. So I'm working with the API now. You saw this the other day, very nice. And you know, this kind of stuff, draw lines, very nice. But what you really want to see is controls. And here we have my auto harp control. All right, I'm like the only person on earth who cares about auto harp control. But uh, this can actually be you know, uh, any width, the, any height, the, the width has to be like 42 because there are 42 strings here. How does that work? Well, here are our chord buttons. And unlike an auto harp, which only has 21, hey, hey, I've got uh, 33. Is that right? No, I have 39. But anyway, here are my chords. Very nice chords. And what do they sound like? They sound like this. Trouble is that the distance between lights and the distance between auto harp strings is quite different. So it's really hard to, for me to finger pick this the way I do with real auto harps. So here you go. You know, it's the circle of fifths. Shut up. And I put this here redundantly so that you could uh, do a uh, little three chord Monty, uh, <laughs> three chord songs over at this end and at this end. So it's like. Yeah, it's a little noisy. Oh, here are the sevenths. And of course the minors. And I made it so that if you push harder, it will add the more pleasant seventh to it. So here's a normal major, and here's, here's a major seventh. I did have it go up to a major ninth if you pushed really hard, but that was sort of gilding the lily. Same thing with the minors, you get a minor and a minor seventh. So you can get... Now I made it so that the notes stick. That's kind of unnatural, but you know, um, that way it's a little more useful. Doesn't really have two finger support, but it kind of works. All right. Now, one of the other fun features about, oop, about this device, kirk, 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 where is it? There it is, is that uh, it has a little sequencer built in it, which harks back unbelievably to the strum sequencer that I had in my program Liar back in the 80s. That's, or early 90s, late, late 80s. So that means I can set this up to go and record the gestures of me strumming um, without, um, you know, uh, independent of the chords. So when this comes around to the little red dot, I will do some strumming. Now it's doing that. Let's change the chords. Kind of boring, but uh, most of that is because of the oscillators I'm using. How, what's going on here actually, technically? Uh, this is all an API, a, one single API um, region, one zone. And uh, those zones, uh, you can write to them any way you like, and you can uh, pick up your fingers, multiple touches simultaneously and I interpret them. So I say, oh, if it's in this area, you're talking about buttons. So I'm gonna do my button processing. If you talk in this area, it's strumming. So I'm gonna do my strum processing. And I say, oh, when I hit the button, go and redraw the screen and figure out how hard I push the button and redraw the screen again. 
Oh, it's the same thing over here is like, this is a very light push and this is a heavier push, it's louder. And I may change the algorithm so that it's actually using real velocity to change that. I'm not picking up where you touch the string to change the timbre because uh, the oscillators that I use in here are just boring sine waves that have a bit of a decay on them and a bit of an attack on them. So there are actually 42 oscillators running at all time. These are, you know, damped out. Their amplitude is zero. Nothing is going on here. But these... That's wiggly, isn't it? That's because I'm sitting on a stand instead of on a table. But uh, yeah, so... Now obviously, I could change the algorithm so it isn't running uh, oscillators, it's just playing MIDI, in which case this becomes a MIDI controller. I could do that. Of course, you know, I'm very dissatisfied with MIDI because in order to do it properly, I would need to have 42 note polyphony without glitches. Technically, it's not 42 notes. It's usually top sat at around, you know, uh, 15 or 20 with these, even with a couple of extra strings in them. But even so, um, I find a lot of MIDI synths, they talk big, but do they deliver? Not really. Um, or I could make my own, I'm, I'm gonna obviously make some other audio oscillators underneath back ends. So I could do a Carpless Strong, that would be the obvious. I could do other waveguide based physical modeling. But the question is, how much can my laptop stand? Uh, it's doing pretty well with this just a couple of multiplies to get these signs going. The other thing is, I could go off the deep end and do all kinds of, um, you know, that there's nothing about my oscillator that says it has to have a standard frequency. I could make the frequency wiggle around a little. I could put in modulations, but I just don't want to chew up a lot of time. That's the thing. Probably do a wavetable lookup, whatever. So anyway, this is like the first control. I'm probably going to make something that is uh, like my good old app ellipse synth, where when you put your fingers down, you're gonna start up some uh, granular synthesis on a samples. That's gonna be really good. I could even make it so that you could assign different samples to different, well, not fingers, but the first touch gets the first sample, the second touch gets the second sample, things like that. So I could be playing uh, and manipulating those um, granular synthesis things. Anyway, if you're really curious about, <laughs> oops, yes, E-Ray 2 is here. Yeah, it's my uh, ticker tape or uh, my Times Square ticker. It really has uh, quite a number of characters in it, more than the last video that I did. I added a few, I'll just let it run through. La, 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 la. These are so fun and generic looking. I just love them. Um, I'm getting to the punctuation now. Here it comes. Yeah, we can get all punctuated. I think I could put URLs and stuff. I mean, you right people, this is really great. What would be really great is something that was actually twice the resolution of what you're doing here. So instead of a thousand and eight light bulbs, you would have, you know, 4,032 light bulbs or whatever it works out to. So yeah, we'll just let that go. All right. Well, that's my report. Uh, people who like this stuff, go to polyharp.com and you can make a thousand string uh, microtonal polyharp, uh, auto harp, uh, who knows what. Uh, it's unbelievable. It's cheap and it runs on iPads. Sorry, iPhones. It's, you just need more fingers. All right. That's all. So long.